the president tried to paint his opponent as drugged up and senile and it didn't work, but he's still moving forward with Plan B, lying about voter fraud and trying to steal the election. For more on this, it's time for a closer look. Donald Trump wants to create the impression that he's a permanent fixture in our lives, that there's nothing we can do to get rid of him. It's what he tried to do in New York by putting his name on every building in big gold letters and on highway signs and parking his dumb plane at LaGuardia. Even the pigeons are starting to sound like him. Coo, coo, this is a coo. Trump wants us to think that he'll always be here and there's no point in voting against him because we can never get rid of him. That's why he wouldn't shut up at Tuesday's debate. That's why he commandeers the national spotlight on a daily basis by saying something insane and forcing us all to think about him. Or why last night at another one of his all-you-can-breathe COVID buffets, he once again suggested that he might stay in office for another 16 years. What are they going to do when in 8, 12, maybe 16 years, I said, let's hang it up. Let's hang it up. 16 more years. Crushed his timetables. Didn't know he was going to be able to do that. But another 16 years? The last four have already felt like 16. 16 more would feel like 64. I asked our graphics team to computer generate an image of what I would look like after another 16 years of Trump, and this is what they came up with. Oh, well, at least I still have the show. But despite what Trump says, it is very much within our power to get rid of him and end all this. That's what Tuesday's debate was about, and that's why Trump and his allies have been lashing out at everyone, including the moderator, Fox News host Chris Wallace, after the negative reaction to Trump's grotesque performance. At last night's rally, Trump complained that Wallace had the temerity to interrupt him. I said, Sleepy Joe, name one law enforcement group that supports you. And then Chris Wallace says, don't do that. That's not, can you believe this guy? I was debating two people last night. You can riot, that's okay. Arson's okay, but challenging Sleepy Joe is totally off limits. Uh, so disappointed in Fox. The Commission on Presidential Debates is considering changes for the next debate, and I'd just like to say to them, best of luck. You know the format's not the problem, right? It's not like it's hard to follow the rules. I mean, she did it. What are you going to do, cut his mic? At this point, if you took his mic away, he'd probably just grow a new one Terminator style. <laughs> that turned out a lot better than I thought it would. You did it again, Manny! <laughs> There's only one way to get Trump to behave at debates, and if no one else will say it, I will. Anytime he breaks the rules, a hologram of Fred Trump should appear and say, what part of wait your turn don't you understand, Donald? I'm sorry, Papa. I'm just in so over my head, and you're not here to bail me out. And I'll tell you something else, you so-called son of mine. Picture perfect. I paint a perfect picture. Bomb the hoochies with precision. My intention's to get richer. Is the hologram of Fred Trump singing the lyrics to Ain't Nothing But a Gangster Party? Oh, yeah, this is the... Same software from the Coachella Tupac hologram. I guess we forgot to wipe it. That is a real long walk. <laughs> I think we had fun. Sometimes you gotta enjoy the view, everybody. Also, any changes you make, Trump's just gonna start whining. He never stops whining. Trump's allies are all like him, petulant children who whine and moan unless you let them rant uninterrupted for 90 minutes straight. They're just bummed because their genius strategy of claiming Joe Biden is senile backfired. When it turned out, Trump's the one whose brain is mostly room temperature Velveeta. Trump and his cheerleaders on Fox spent weeks, weeks insisting his opponent was a doddering old man with dementia who needed drugs and an earpiece to get through a debate. And then the debate happened, and it turned out the only candidate who sounded like he mixed the dog's Valium with Jose Cuervo was Trump. And by the way, when you're lagging with seniors in swing states due to a raging pandemic you failed to contain, I'm not sure calling your opponent a brain-dead geezer is like the awesome campaign strategy you think it is. Once you're 77, you're basically dead. Anyway, the seniors love me. In case you need reminding, Trump spent weeks challenging Biden to a drug test, and then his proof for his psychotic claims cited the internet. Do you really believe that Joe Biden will be on any type of performance-enhancing drug ahead of the debates, or are you just joking? No, I'm not joking. I mean, I'm willing to take a drug test. I think he should, too. People say he was on performance-enhancing drugs. A lot of people have said that. A lot of people have written that. So, uh, so people, that take a look at it. Take a look. Why don't you just check it? You can check out the Internet. You'll see plenty of people say it. They give him a big, fat shot in the ass, and he comes out. And for two hours, he's better than ever before. 
Sounds like Trump just saw Awakenings on the plane and thought it was a documentary. Also, it's telling that's how Trump thinks you get a shot of Adderall because it means that's how he gets a shot of Adderall. Just give me a little booty bump, Doc. Straight up the wazoo. Also, very telling when the president cites a source that wouldn't be accepted on a high school term paper. And if Biden's on performance-enhancing drugs, like, what's your explanation then? Are you on performance-decreasing drugs? You know what drug you should take? You should take whatever drug makes you smile normal. I mean, look at his neck strains. It's the face you make when you slam a glass of OJ right after you brush your teeth. Looks like he tried to poison James Bond's drinks, but accidentally mixed up the glasses. Here you are, James. I believe I had the martini shaken, not stirred, and you had the Diet Coke in a can. Oh, no. oh, I switched them. Oh, 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 no, I'm tightening up. Can you get my EpiPen, James? Oh, don't be a dick, James. Don't be, just do it, James. I need it in the butt. Just straight up the wazoo. Oh, this you won't do, James? After everything, this is the line you won't cross. Oh, the great James Bond. <laughs> so, Trump claimed his opponent <laughs> was the one who was senile and needed drugs to get through the debate. And then the debate happened, and Trump not only couldn't keep his mouth shut, but when it was his turn to speak, he said stuff like this. Insulin, it's going to, it was destroying families, destroying people, because I'm getting it for so cheap. It's like water. You know, in Europe, they live their forest cities. They're called forest cities. The car has gotten so expensive because they have computers all over the place. He sounds like a first-time film student writing a sci-fi script in a Starbucks. Open on, moon base alpha, nestled in a forest city. Insulin flows like water. The sky is filled with flying cars, which are expensive because they have computers all over the place. Maybe Trump should stick to interrupting. When he actually has to answer a question, he sounds like the worst member of your taboo team. Uh, oh, it's a movie. They live in four cities. Uh, computers all over the place. It was Star Wars, but I wasn't, it's not my fault. I wasn't allowed to say Star or Wars. Even Trump's own campaign acknowledged privately that he went full psycho with the debate. One person who's familiar with his debate prep, Anderson, said they prepared him to be aggressive, but not to be Jason from Friday the 13th. And that is the perception of how his performance was. Yeah, I mean, even Jason didn't interrupt that much unless you were a sexy teen taking a shower. Jason's whole thing was that he was invulnerable and had superhuman strength. Trump always looks like he just climbed a ladder to get wherever he is. Looked like he'd fall over with one push like a Jenga tower. Why would you want to be Jason at a debate anyway? The plot of Friday the 13th wasn't a mystical killer in a hockey mask shouting down his rivals while laying out a vision for the future. If anything, Trump would be less scary if you wore a Jason mask. Ah! Oh, oh, thank God, it was just Jason. But it was important to see one of Trump's deranged conspiracy theories disproven in real time in front of a national television audience because he's counting on conspiracy theories to stay in power. That's why he keeps repeating his completely unfounded lies about the dangers of mail-in voting as he did again at the debate. As far as the ballots are concerned, it's a disaster. If you have an unsolicited, they're sending millions of ballots all over the country. There's fraud. They found them in creeks. They found some with the name Trump. Just happened to have the name Trump just the other day in a waste paper basket. They have mailmen with lots of it. Did you see what's going on? Take a look at West Virginia, mailmen selling the ballots. They're being sold. They're being dumped in rivers. They found them in creeks and rivers. Why is he? Talking like a wild-eyed frontiersman. Yeah, the ballots down to them to creeks and river. This will shock you. That's completely made up. There's no known instance of ballots being dumped in creeks or rivers, but I'm betting Trump said that because he's definitely dumped stuff in rivers. When you're a New York real estate grifter with mob ties, the East River is basically your filing cabinet. We're not going to see Trump's tax returns until they're actually accidentally brought up in a fishing net. Uh, I've uh, never seen anything undervalue a uh, golf course quite like that before. Well, just another day in the life of a Maine fisherman. That's not even the most insane version of Trump's mail ballot fever dream. Recently, he told his supporters to watch out for ballots being flushed down toilets. Get out there and vote. And keep your eyes open if you see any shenanigans, which you probably will. OK, if you see people, like, dumping things, flushing things. Do you want your supporters to watch out for ballots being flushed down the toilet? First of all, there's a good chance Trump thinks this is a voting booth. It's ridiculous. I had to go all the way to a construction site to vote. And it was not a pleasant experience. Second, Trump's bombarding us with these lies for two reasons. One, to destroy confidence in the election and make us all think it's hopeless. And two, to set the stage for a Supreme Court battle that will hand him a victory even if he loses. He's repeatedly said as much, including in Tuesday's debate. Are you counting on the Supreme Court, including a Justice Barrett, 
to settle any dispute. Yeah, I, th I think I'm counting on them to look at the ballots, definitely. We need nine justices. You need that. Uh, with the unsolicited millions of ballots that they're sending, it's a scam, it's a hoax, everybody knows that. And the Democrats know it better than anybody else. So you're going to need nine justices up there. I think it's going to be very important. Paper ballots are very simple. Whether they counterfeit them, forge them, do whatever you want. Counterfeit them, forge them, flush them. In fact, I've been going from bathroom to bathroom recovering ballots that were flushed by Democrats. Those were our votes for me. Just can't read them now. And Republicans across the country, with the help of Trump's campaign, are already setting the stage for just such a legal battle by suing to delay counting or invalidate ballots in swing states like Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Texas. Trump's strategy is two-pronged, to undermine the election and to create the impression that he's inevitable. We cannot get rid of him. But we can. It's in our power to end this. We can repudiate Trump and the GOP and give our democracy a... Big fat shot in the ass. This has been A Closer Look. God's Love We Deliver cooks and brings over 2 million meals a year to men, women, and children living with HIV, AIDS, cancer, and other serious illnesses, and they need your help. Now more than ever, if you're watching this online, you can hit the donate button, stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask. We love you.